managed to find these um, nice envelopes and cards. And I really like the colours. Got little sparkly bits in. Um, that's got some flowers in, I think. And they're from, they're handmade from tree-free paper made from recycled cloth. Um, they're from a company called salinpaper.com and handmadepaper.com. So I thought that was really nice. So we're using these um, to put behind the plasterboard and the insulation to say who's bought them for us. Welcome back everyone. As you've seen, I've been started, made a start on the ceiling. You saw me recently um, putting all these battens up. Um, so I thought, well, might as well start the installation of the plasterboard. I've decided to start this way and work my way down. No particular reason, just did. Um, yeah, it's going okay. A little bit tricky because these beams, um, they're not all regularly spaced, so everything's got to be cut individually and a lot of them um, they're a little bit warped and twisted with age so it's not quite as simple as putting a, a straight edge down here and then measuring from that uh, because this then bows and you end up with a bigger gap so <clears throat> thought I'd try the laser level and get it right in the center and then um, try and measure from the center out and that's worked out quite well uh, but it's a little bit tight at times to get the fast board up. Uh, but I'll work that out. Um, but I'm trying to get it, get it reasonably flush to the edge. That saves work later. Um, okay, yeah, it's going okay. And I'm just going to carry on. What we've done, I don't know whether you saw previous videos going back this time last year, I think it was, when I started cleaning these beans. Uh, they were full of black from the fire. And I cleaned them all, worked the way down, etc. Um, what we've done is a little patch on this this beam here um, of oil because uh, we wanted to see how dark they would come up. We don't particularly want them really dark, but we don't mind them slightly darker because they're looking, you know, they're looking really dry and lacklustre. So what's the bring to bring them to life a little bit? Uh, I'm waiting for that to dry. That's looking pretty good. Um, so we'll probably oil them all, and I think the contrast between the really light colour that we'll put on these and the slightly darker beams, I think it's going to look really, really lovely. And I think it's going to look great. So I'm going to just carry on, and how far I'll get this one, I don't know, but I'm going to keep going. And you've probably noticed I've been using this little work tower, um, the little scaffold tower. It's really, really handy. It's kind of so well it's really sturdy as well so i've seen these on other vlogs well, they always seem really shaky but this one actually seems okay um, and it's doing the job it's getting me up here perfect and it's all thanks to a lovely lady called natasha uh, she saw this on our wish list um quite some time ago admittedly um probably i don't know a few weeks ago now uh, but she bought it outright for us, and uh, she's probably been wondering where where it is <laughs> because it's uh, this is its debut. Uh, but we always had it intended for this job and a few other jobs that we're going to do on ceilings. So um, thank you, Natasha, it's making our life very very easy. slight change of plan I was going to carry on <laughs> but uh, Susie has uh, commandeered the work platform uh, what we thought we'd do is is just carry on oiling some of these beams because 
the little patch that we did, the test area, um, that's come up really nice. And it's, it's a nice warm colour without being too dark. Uh, obviously the, the bit that she's doing now is dark because it's just going on, but it's actually drying a lot lighter and it's, it's having a, a minimal effect on the darkness of the beams. It's coming up quite nice, isn't it? Mm. So we're going to go as far as we can. Um, and it's just as easy to do it now because there's, there's fine gaps where I've put the plasterboard up. So we can get the brush up there without it going all over the plasterboard. Um, we're just using up some oils that we've uh, brought with us from the UK. We've got various oil part, um, varnishes and stains, etc. So we thought we'd try what we had, but it's not going to get us very far. It's only probably going to get us not even a half of this, is it, really? Um, half of this side. Um, I think we'll run we, out. We might do this side one coat, but we'll need something else to do another yeah, coat. Yeah. And I think the best stuff to use is the Osmo oil, which every, everyone keeps waving. Yeah, head. it is. Um, <coughs> so we'll probably get some. Um, but yeah, so that's what we'll do. Then once Susie's finished this area, I'll carry on. Okay, so what I've done here, um, where I'm standing now is currently our food prep area, our, our workstation if you like. Um, so, but we've got no lights here. This yoke light is moving. Um, it will go, well, to the right of the camera, just slightly behind the camera where the dining table is now. Um, but we need to illuminate this area, so I've put a wire here in preparation. I've drilled a couple of holes so I can get that through, but I've got to go through two more beams. Uh, but I'll, I'll work, worry about that as I work my way along. Um, yeah, so we have some sort of lighting here, but don't ask me. That's uh, Susie's domain, and doubtless she'll tell me when she's ready to. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I've done all the oiling I can do on the beans. I'm quite happy with that. Um, gives it a bit of luster. Yeah, definitely. I, I'll probably wax them later. And um, well, I can't really go any further because we we haven't treated the rest for woodworm yet. Yeah, the last four. Think, yeah. So we've got to treat those before we can go any further. But we'll, we'll only get so much done now yeah. in this vlog. So I'll try to get another couple of loads of plastic with yeah. these two. So. And when I go back to the UK, I'm going to get some lighting wire because it's really difficult to get here for some reason. Yeah, the really thin stuff. Yeah, uh, it's called bell wire. Yeah, they, they don't seem to do it here. It's too thick. So if you yeah. want the wire on, on show as it comes down, it's... Um, I've got to rewire some of the chandeliers and stuff like that. Yeah. I'd just like to thank everyone um, for the lovely comments I got on the last vlog. Um, it was quite overwhelming, actually. And I started answering the comments, but they just kept coming in. <laughs> and I have read them all, and I've, I think I've acknowledged them all, but I, I will carry on answering as many as I can. Yeah, it's but, just um, getting the, yeah, the answers, you know. Uh, we were getting comments from people that we hadn't seen comment before. No, no. And a few new subscribers, yeah. so that was nice. And I think it's um, it, it's very interesting reading the comments how many people are affected yeah. by not just cancer but you know, so serious long term people. illnesses and family and friends etc. It's yeah, uh, yeah but um, <coughs> yeah, but you know it is what it is. It that's life, isn't it? So unfortunately, we yeah. just have to get on with it. <laughs> yeah. And and actually, um, this place keeps us going, doesn't it, and doing the <laughs> vlogging. Yeah, it keeps us going, all right, definitely. <laughs> yeah. We won't be running out of work any day soon. No. Uh, so plenty to keep our mind off things. <laughs> I've just, I've got too much I want to do. <laughs> yeah, of course, we, we both have, so. Mm. Yeah. So, just going to finish off a few more bits of plasterboard. Yeah, I'm going to carry on. Uh, we'll get this filmed and uh, edited, so, yeah. and looks a lot better already really really happy um, I'm going to carry on for a little while but I think I'll call it a day as far as the vlog is concerned uh, I've got to go out and measure and cut and we'll start to lose a bit of light but I'm going to see if I can get this other piece on um, so thank you all for watching and thank you um, for subscribing and don't forget if you do like what you see and you want to watch regularly please click on the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything it's completely free and the notification bell as well because then you don't miss a video and a big hello to Suzanne who's joined us on Patreon this week so hello Suzanne hopefully uh, you're catching up with all the stuff that's on there and there'll be more obviously as we go forward and also big thank you to those of you who've bought coffees uh, this week uh, it really helps keep the channel going and keeps us going and uh, we're really really grateful so thank you and if you haven't seen your name come up, if you've bought some plasterboard or some battening or um, some insulation, we're going to carry on and uh, you'll see your names um, next week and thereafter as well. So thank you to all of you for your patience. Uh, we shall see you next time. Bye.